we're holding our first ever Southampton Airport Careers Fair. Um, over the course of the year, we anticipate that we'll take on about 100 new employees to join our team at the airport, and so we've opened the doors to let people come in and find out a bit more. I would anticipate that so far we've probably seen over 2,000 people, and we've still got a couple of hours left to go, and, uh, and still got plenty of plenty more people to see. So at the moment I'm unemployed, so I'm just seeing what they've got to offer me down here. Not much choice in the way of jobs, and each job has been... Um, saying sorry we've got too many candidates I haven't been into the fair yet so I can't even sort of say about it but it's not a bad queue, it's going down quite quickly I was made redundant on the 30th of April I worked in purchasing and finance I worked in the same company all my life so uh, I thought I'd uh, have to come and have a look for another job So, well I must admit when I first got here I thought this was the queue for the uh, for the departures or something, I went inside and said where's the careers fair and said oh that's the queue outside so I had to go back outside again so uh, yeah, perhaps they'd had some more signage would have been useful, but uh, obviously we weren't anticipating so many people, and I wasn't either. <laughs> Management, clerical, or oh, baggage handling, I don't mind. It's a surprise the amount of time we have to wait. I didn't expect to be here for, well, it looks like it's going to be two and a half hours even before we get in. So um, I don't know, it does seem a little, very long-winded, I must admit. The interest that we've had for our careers fair really has been overwhelming. Um, we absolutely take on board that people have had to wait longer than we would have wanted them to, and certainly when we're planning our next careers fair, we will we will envisage to find a location that's, that means we're able to see more people more quickly.